Hey everyone, Eric with Ride Adventures here and we're here today with KTM's new 790 Adventure, the standard version. I want to talk specifically about how it fits into that category of low seat height big adventure bikes, specifically compared to BMW's F750 GS, Suzuki's V-Strom 650, and the Honda CB500X. So let's get into some of the specs on this great new bike and show you about it. Okay, KTM's coming in definitely at the leader in the class with 95 horsepower and 66 foot-pounds of torque. We haven't seen exact specs written online yet about it, but we figure it to be around 460 pounds once it's fully fueled and ready for the road. Uh, with a 32.7 inch seat height, it matches the Honda CB500X and is actually a little bit shorter than the Suzuki V-Strom still. And then a 5.3 gallon fuel tank uh, should get you pretty good range on, on big adventure bike travels. You've got a 12.7 to one compression ratio, and that's something important to mention because the higher the compression ratio, of course, the more careful you have to be with the fuel choices that you're taking around the world. With a 21 inch front wheel and an 18 rear, it's gonna be excellent for soaking up the dirts and the, the, the bumps and the imperfections in off pavement riding. And with suspension travel marked at both 7.9 inches front and 7.9 in the rear, the ground clearance actually comes in at 9.2 inches on this bike. So again, a great option for being able to go off pavement as you want. All right, riders, here we are aboard the new KTM 790 Adventure, the standard version, and uh, going to go through that comparison for you of the four bikes we're calling sort of in its category of the low seat height, middleweight uh, adventure bikes. Um, how does this one compare? In terms of these categories, let's go down the list. Let's say dirt feel, dirt off pavement, gravel riding situations. Which one is the winner in the category? All right, no brainer there. The 21 inch front, the 18 rear on the KTM, the way that handles in the dirt compared to the other three bikes with their 19 inch fronts and 17 inch rears, that's a step in the right direction right there for me. I always like the 21 for these gravel and dirt situations. Um, KTM wins the category off pavement. On pavement, this is a tougher one because again, as I just said, I would really prefer the smaller wheels. That's why we have 17 inch fronts and sport bikes that are on pavement situations, you know, 17 inch fronts. So closer to that 19 inch front between the V-Strom and the BMW, one of those is gonna be my choice uh, for the pavement bike in the category, which is gonna come out in the top in that category. Um, you know, this Honda CB500X is, could be a winner in that category as well for riding and pavement. Uh, it's just, you know, the, the engine sort of holds it back as far as not being quite as fun of a pavement twisty sweeper type of a bike machine. So, hand it to either BMW or Suzuki for their bikes in the pavement. And then, uh, how about the topic of comfort? Well, I'm going to hand that one to... Suzuki, I guess, in that, you know, it just is a feeler, a feeling of a bike. The V-Strom to me is just, you know, because it's bigger, because it just has more of a, a boat-like feel and a plush. You know, the suspension quality and the characteristics of it are not quite as good as maybe the, certainly not as good as the KTMs, probably not as good as the, the BMWs, but still the V-Strom just being sort of a bigger, girthier, wider seat, um, to me in terms of comfort and then again for passenger it's, it's I would say the biggest and the frame size of the bikes in this category so if you're with a passenger or luggage you're just a little more spaced out and it has that feeling of comfort for a long trip you know for uh, it's gonna maybe be the best of the of the four bikes in that category um, so as far as how it carries luggage which bike luggage or passenger how does that play out the same way, like I was just saying, the Beast Tromp sort of does win that category um, as far as long distance touring and luggage packing capabilities and and whatnot. I'll, I'll hand that one to the Beast Tromp. But then there's the topic of the engine. Which one wins in this category? My friend here, the 95 horsepower KTM that it is, being able to steer a little bit with the rear end, get that adrenaline going, 95 horsepower, right there at my command. This is the absolute ass kicker, hands down winner in the category. KTM's parallel twin, feeling oh so good when you want to steer with the rear end or when you want to maybe get ahead of your buddies or whatever the situation is. When no one's looking, 
that engine is the most fun. BMW is the second place, you know, they've got a good strong engine still now, but um, KTM just lights up. It sounds sounds pissed off to me, that engine. Let's see what's up here. I don't even know, but let's go find out. That's the beauty of these bikes, you know. You can do so much with them. They're adventure, uh, dual sport bikes that'll tackle just all this kind of terrain and you don't have to wonder, hmm, where does this go? I'm going to find out right now. You know, each bike has its strengths in those different kinds of categories. Um, if I was to choose one of the bikes in that set for my own good, you know, uh, again, none of them are quite like my size and a little taller and heavier than the average rider, but I'm gonna go with the KTM. So in short, we're excited to have KTM's new 790 Adventure in our rental operations. You know, over the years, a lot of riders write into us looking for that lower seat height. And again, in that twin cylinder, big adventure bike, but low seat height category, around 32 inches, all these bikes that I mentioned today. Uh, this is a great new option. If I was shopping in this category, this would be my, my choice as well. So hope you enjoy it. If you get one, get out there and see some miles and have some smiles and ride on.